people typically strain, sprain, and fracture their arms or legs. More serious injuries are caused by blows to the head, which can be fatal. Let's go through a few examples. One, an employee slipped as he entered the building and fell headfirst down a flight of stairs, hitting the concrete floor 1.3 meters below. He died as a result of his injuries. Two, an employee slipped in a dark car park outside his workplace and strained his back. Three, employees had to walk around stuff that had been left blocking a passageway in an industrial facility. One of the employees slipped, sprained his knee, and hit the back of his head on the floor. Four, an employee tripped over a high door sill and dislocated her shoulder as a result of the fall. Five, an employee fell and broke his wrist after tripping over cables that had been left on the ground at a construction site. Now let's run through some ways of avoiding similar accidents. Plan your workspaces and access routes so they can easily be kept neat and tidy. Risk assessments help you to identify dangerous places and implement the necessary safety measures. Make sure that indoor and outdoor areas are properly and sufficiently lit. Ensure there is good lighting in stairways, corridors and entrances in particular. Sturdy handrails, good visibility and slip-resistant floor surfaces also improve safety on staircases. Remember to carry out regular cleaning and maintenance. Make sure people can work at an appropriate pace. Accidents are more likely when you are in a hurry. Smooth work processes help to keep everything in order. Make sure you have enough time to get from place to place. Wear suitable shoes for the weather and your work. Keep your eyes open and focus on one thing at a time. Put things back in their place and don't block floors and access routes. Don't leave traps for your workmates. Always report any dangers that you notice and remove them yourself if you can do so safely. <laughs>